Hello, my name is Carlo from Terragon DE and in this tutorial we want to see how we can do motion tracking in Cinema 4D um, and use Adobe After Effects CS5 to get the motion, motion tracking data into Cinema 4D. This is only working for a two-dimensional video or motion tracking um, because After Effects is not able to make uh, 3D tracking information so we will get used with this and I have prepared <coughs> a small video this is here in a room uh, with a normal camera and we want to add a figure here into inside um, this video that will stand inside <coughs> okay so we can start and the first thing we want to do is um, open Adobe After Effects make this one fitting inside here and um, I first want to save this as a new project I will call And here we can now import. Oh, I have forgotten something very important. Before we start uh, After Effects, we will need an uh, additional uh, plugin. And this plugin we can find on the aenhancers.com um, with this URL. Or you can just look for. Uh, this phrase in Google and uh, then you will find it very uh, quick. So um, this plugin is more or less a plugin set, a, a script set, um, where one plugin will go into um, the After Effects scripts and the second one is going into the uh, Cinema 4D library scripts. Mm, that is very important to download and after downloading this zip file you will find um, this here on your desktop and you can open this and you have these two files that you will need to put inside um, the folder but that is also here in the readme there you will find um, where to put those two data files so I will just make a test. We can go into the program files, go into Adobe, After Effects, Support Files, and here you have the scripts. <coughs> sorry, the scripts folder. And in the scripts folder, you will see. Okay, I have already copied this file here. Okay. So now we can start in After Effects and I want to import in the same folder as my tutorial motion tracking is there is the video file we have just seen import it and now we have to load this into a composi composition and we will see okay here is our video and for the script it is important that there is a, a null object or a zero object um, where the tracking information will be stored so don't just use the tracker now on this file but add, um, add a new one and here we have the null object or the zero object I don't know what the English translation in After Effects is so we have to add this and now we can use a tracker so we have to use the left one here follow the movement the source will be our video it's named called tracker1 and we want the position and we want the rotation as well so we want the rotation of the picture here and the movement and now we have um, an aim for this 
and it's a null, then the zero object, the null object, where it will be stored. That is important uh, for the export later. Okay, and now we have um, our two tracking points. We need two tracking points because we have the rotation and the position. And now we are looking in the picture where we can place our two points, I guess. Yes, this is a good point. And the second one may be down here. Oh no, that's uh, what is the best point? Maybe here. Maybe this one. Okay. So we have our two points. And I think we can start analyzing. Okay. So now he will go through the video and calculate our tracking information and like you will see here with the two points he can calculate the rotation and the position. And I will make a short break. Here at the end of the video I have done some rotation <laughs> with the cap. <laughs> okay, now we are done. So we can see the tracking information of these two points. And I will save our project. And when we will open... Wait a second, I need to make this a bit bigger here. Put this down. And here, our apply button. I think in English it will be apply. So we can to apply the dimensions x and y. Okay, good. So now we applied our movement um, to our video. I will make this smaller again. Okay. And now you can see here we have our zero or null object. We have the transform uh, tag. Wait a second. Um, where he entered the position information and the rotation information. So, when we are going through the video here, we will see, okay, both of the information are here calculated. And like we can see here, our information um, will change and adjust. Here's the degree of the rotation. Okay, now we have the tracking information in After Effects and we want to activate this object here and go to our uh, menu where we can look for the scripts. And we will find here our AE2C4D script. That is now important for us. And he asks us to save a text file that we can save in our same folder. What we have done now. And when we open this text file, we will see a lot of information. Yes. But we don't have to read this all, <laughs> because now we have uh, done everything we need to do in After Effects. We can save our project again, and we can close After Effects now. Now we will need Cinema 4D. So we will add, we will open our Cinema 4D. Make it fitting into our window. And first I want to adjust the surrounding data, so we want to have the same stage size here. And I want to save it into the same folder. Try motion tracking, C4D. Okay. And now I want to create a new material. 
this material will have the texture of motion tracking video. And now <coughs> I will add a background and apply this to our background. Okay, so now we have the video here. And the next thing we need to do is add a floor. And for this floor, we already saw in the last tutorials, we need the render tag with the background compositing so that it will be our floor. Okay, but now the important thing here is that we need a camera. So I will add a normal camera, not this, this one. And we have, um, now we have the camera here with the camera view. Wait a second. Whoop. With the camera view we wanted to, to have. Mm. No. Stop, stop, stop. I will delete the camera again and adjust the floor first that we will have here. in our scene. So something like this. Like this. Okay. So we have our floor. And I will box that I want to make bigger. Here we have we have it. Okay. Move it up. So when we run oh no we have to apply the floor to the background first that you will know that it's a compositing so and now here we have our box and this box normally would need a shadow so we want to add a light that is fitting to our scene here and our light in the scene is somewhere here. I will have from the top look. Somewhere here. And the light should create a shadow. Okay, now we have a box here on the ground with a shadow from the light source. Okay, and now I want to save, and now we can create our camera again. And with this camera, we um, want to use with our tracking information from Adobe After Effects. And to get this, we have our plugins folder, the script AE2C4D, that is the script we just downloaded and we want to import our text file. We have generated in After Effects this one. So we we'll click Open. The import will take uh, some time depending on your computer's speed. And here we have our information. Oh, okay, he was just going to the last frame. So he adjusted the frame rate of our um, video that we got from After Effects, so he added, uh, he, yes, made 1004 frames, we can do that. And what we have here is uh, our some zero, ob zero objects, 
these ones are, I don't know if they are important, I will let them be there. But here we have two zero objects with keyframes. And these keyframes are, the first one I think are for the position. And the second one is for the rotation. So we have these two objects, uh, one for position, one for rotation. And we have n to apply the camera movement to this, so we just drag it into under the rotation tag, or under the rotation object. So the camera will use all the keyframes that are entered here uh, into these objects. And now we have to check this by choosing the camera, the scene camera, to use our camera and there is one big problem that we have or that I have at the moment and I didn't find anything useful at uh, Google so the camera will track uh, like it should but it will do the uh, wrong rotation at this time so when the video is rotating to the left, our object will rotate to the right. That is a really serious problem at this time, but I will try to fix it and make a next tutorial where I will show how to uh, make this problem better, or how to solve this problem. So we will see in the next tutorial. See you later. Bye bye.